Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Volkswagen Arteon shooting brake. This is the Elegance version and in this video I will make the full review interior exterior. I will give you the technical data and if you want to find out everything about the new Volkswagen Arteon shooting brake just stay with me in this video. Also we will start first time by telling you the technical data as always and I have to tell you that this Arteon shooting brake Elegance it's the four motion uh, version and it comes with a two liter petrol engine TSI four cylinders in line it comes with a seven speed gearbox DSG transmission and also the power of the car 280 horsepower 400 newton meters consumption 7.2 liters 165 co2 grams emission and then a zero to 100 in just 5.5 seconds the maximum speed 250 kilometers at the weight of the car it's around 1663 kilograms also the trunk space there it's 565 liters but if you fall down the seats uh, the space will be 1632 liters also the fuel tank capacity 66 liters uh, drag coefficient 0 0.26 and the turning circle that we will talk in the test drive it's 11.9 meters also if you're curious about the suspension the front suspension they are independent type McPherson also with stabilizer and in the back the rear suspension come also independent multi-link suspension the price of the car brand new car here in Switzerland it's around 75,000 francs but uh, they have a great discount if you check out that Gauchi garage if you are in Switzerland or around Switzerland it's a brand new car and the price will be 62,900 francs so they have already a great discount on the car so uh, I totally recommend you to check this out also it comes with this beautiful white color this is the pearl effect Eric's white uh, but you have to pay uh, 1300 extra of course it's already included in this price right here but if you have to buy a brand new car keep in mind that you have to pay 1300 francs for this color also if you don't want to buy it with this two liter petrol engine that it's also the most powerful on this version if you want to go for the elegance you have another uh, two option for example you can get the 1.4 liter TSI i hybrid with 156 horsepower that version also come on the Golf for example I already reviewed on my channel you can check it out and also you have another version if you drive many kilometers you can get the diesel version 2 liter diesel with 200 horsepower so those are the technical data before we start the video guys so now we will go on the exterior uh, and then we will go inside and I will explain you every single detail the material quality the space and yeah we will talk a little bit about the design by the way if you're new on my channel just click the subscribe button uh, to see all the notification when a new video will come out on my channel also if you want to see the test drive with this new uh, Volkswagen Arteon shooting brakes just stay close because it will come soon on the channel probably it's already there if it's not there just click the subscribe to see when the notification will come also I will leave the link to the garage if you want to test drive the car if you want to see the price if you want to uh, check out the technical data you will find the link uh, in the video as well and until then yeah let's start the review guys all right guys so first time we will start with the exterior and i have to tell you the the shape of the car it's incredible nice i like it very much i like the shape i like the design i like the way they add those sharp edges line and also the combination of chrome design around the windows with the chrome design down there and also with those rims i think it fit really nice also the back part of the car it's incredible incredible sporty and and beautiful uh, and also even this color pearl uh, white color fit with the car just uh, gorgeous in my opinion beautiful design beautiful car um, i have to tell you it's one of the most beautiful car in this class it's quite long and quite big and you have also a lot of space in the back you will see in the moment when we go there other than that if we go close here uh, you will see the elegance writing here on the right side so you know uh, this is the elegance version so it looks quite nice uh, the way they, they integrate this chrome design here I like very much uh, the combination of chrome and the way they add it even the mirrors if you look here you can see they have kind of a silver matte chrome 
um, design, nice lines, pretty aerodynamic uh, mirrors. Also, you have LED lights in the mirror right here for the turning signals. Also, under, you have a camera. This camera is for the 360 degrees system. I will show you when we go inside. Here, you have an LED light to illuminate the ground in the night. Then you have the uh, pretty typical mirror. It's the same mirror as on the normal version. And then if you see here, as I said before, this chrome design all around the windows look really beautiful. And also you have tinted windows in the back right here. I like the way they combine those windows right here uh, in the middle. I like very much when it's like this. It's like a completely window. If you go a little bit backwards, you can see you don't even notice. Uh, that is just two windows. It's really beautiful. I like that very much and here also glossy plastic also uh, look very nice Going forward the handles are kind of typical uh, for the Volkswagen group uh, But the car come with keyless entrance lock and unlock by having your uh, finger here also electronic folding mirrors uh, The car come with I like very much this pearl white. I'm kind of a fan of this pearl white uh, color then I like this part down here, this skirt down here with chrome, look also nice. Going in the back, even this sharp line here on the side, look really sexy. Also muscular part here, look at this, beautiful. And you can see it also when you're driving, you can see in the mirror this part here. And it gives you a sporty feeling and I don't know, pretty nice. I like the way they design it. Also look how those line continuing here. It's so nice, so nice design. I like it. I, I, for the first time when I see the car, I like it very much. And also, you can see it's kind of a coupe. It comes down, 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 down here. So it comes pretty small from the front. It comes like this, pretty small. And the back part here, it's really, really tougher uh, as the, the front part right there. So in order to make a better aerodynamic, also nice lines and sharp edges up here on the roof radio antenna glossy black plastic then you can see this roof spoiler that looks really spectacular as well glossy plastic here tinted windows in the back really nice i like the way they they make this roof spoiler the combination in the back i'm a fan of this back design of the car really really beautiful uh, also you have the brake lights here led light then you have a wiper here in the back also here we will talk a little bit about the lights it comes with iq light you will have to pay some extra for this iq light but they totally deserve it you can see following led light three-dimensional light inside there reverse light and also the fog lamp it's also led as you can see right here uh, beautiful beautiful design in terms of light um, i like the way they design it if you go down here you can see you have six sensors in the back four for parking those are for blind spot technology on the side some light reflector and then the chrome again insertion here then you have some fake exhaust pipes to make it looks a little bit sportier you have led lights on the number plate and also you can see right here led lights on the number plate and then going down you have again a simple design here also here is the hook guys somewhere under there I think you can see it. I will show you later how we can get it out. Also on the right side, the same exhaust pipe for motion. So you will know this is an all wheel drive. And then I like also this new logo from Volkswagen and the way they write Arteon right here. The reverse camera, it's behind uh, this handle here. And from here, you can open also the trunk automatically. And yeah, this is the back of the car overall nice design also on the right side on the passenger side guys it's this tank right here here you have the tank look at the hood right here look at the lines aggressive lines beautiful design look at this look how nice they look also here on the side impressive impressive lines and in this white color is just just fabulous here in the front six sensors the same blind spot sensors those are for parking sensors then you have some plastic down here and then air intakes you can see the air intakes that help aerodynamic and also the consumption and then you have the chrome design on the down part of the bumper here pretty nice the chrome design continuing right here on this area in the middle it's kind of continuing the grill 
guys, because the grill, it's here. You have air intakes right here where the air go inside to cool down the engine. But you have also some air intakes here on the upper side. And it's somehow a strange grill, to be honest. The way they, they combine, it's so unique and interesting. You have this new Volkswagen logo. Behind the logo, it's a radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake, and all that safety features. You have the camera right there in the logo. You can see it for 360 degrees and pretty nice. Look, look how they continuing this hood. It looks really nice. Also, LED lights, IQ light, the latest technology from Volkswagen, the turning signals. You can see it. You can see also the high bin, low bin. Everything is automated and, and it's the latest technology. Um, as I said, you have to pay around 1,600 francs for it, but it's totally deserved. It. If I will buy the car, I will totally get those uh, impressive IQ lights. Look at, look at the shape from this angle. Shape of the car, it's incredible, spectacular. It's like a racy car. Really aerodynamic, really aggressive and nice. Up here you have a camera for lane assist, uh, also reading the traffic speed limit and uh, all that safety features. Here are the sensors for rain and lights. Uh, also the car comes with a head-up display that is not directly on the windshield. It's somehow integrated in the dash. We will talk about that when we go inside the car. Here we have Firelli tires and we have 19-inch rims. They look really beautiful in my opinion. Also ventilated brake discs there, pretty big brake discs. In the front, uh, also here in this area, you can see they add some plastic to protect this area from rust in time. But in the back, the same story, ventilated brake discs and huge brake discs. So uh, I guess they add a lot of power to the brakes. So um, I'm really curious to drive the car to see the way it feels. So it's very simple to open this hood in the front. It's a pretty big hood because they choice uh, to do it like like this way you can see the opening it's all the way to the door right here and all the way down here it's pretty interesting the way they chose to do this uh, hood also the wipers the liquid wiper it's up here and you have some uh, coolant and then you have the engine as i said two liter petrol engine four cylinders in line you can see right here and also um, yeah pretty powerful 400 newton meters a lot of power air filter battery fuse box and classic array for the volkswagen overall yeah i just want to show you let's go forward guys now automatic lift gate as i told you before so you can see here is the entrance in the trunk also up here you have a button uh, to close the trunk automatically also you have this protection for the trunk right here pretty nice you can add it super super simple also the quality of this protection is very good it's like a leather not sure if it's leather but really good quality also you can take it out as well i will take it out for you you have two positions like this or all the way in the back super simple super nice uh, here on the right side you have the button for the hook you just press this button right here just like that and then the hook will come out all you have to do is just pull it just like this and then you have the hook there again press it one more time and then push it back simple 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 you have some hooks here for the grocery for example on the both sides quite useful then you have an led light on the left side plenty of space here inside uh, the trunk on the on the left side on the right side as well led light plenty of space down here for the medical kit and all other stuff you have some hooks you have the triangle here uh, then you have pretty deep space here now if you go under the floor guys you will see that you have a big space i'm not sure if you can fit a spare tire here probably or almost but you still have a lot of space under here it's really impressive how much space it's in this uh, trunk really really impressive and also the entrance in the trunk it's big very practical very practical it's more than enough to fit so many things so it's not only a beautiful design beautiful sporty design but also uh, it's a very very practical car with plenty of space in the trunk in my opinion now let me take this out and then we will fold down the seats so we will see how much space you have with the seats folding down
All right, I just take out that part so you can see a little bit better the way the trunk it looks. So in my opinion, plenty, plenty of space. I'm also surprised why I don't find the 12 volt port here in the trunk, but I guess it's okay. Then let me go forward. I can fold down this middle part right there so you can carry skis or long items without any problem. This is one of the best part uh, of the uh, Arteon that you can have two passengers in the back and carry long items without any problem. I like that. This is one of the, the great part. Really, really practical. Now let's fold down the seats. Now also from here you have to stretch out a little bit more. I mean this trunk is so long and so big so in order to go there to fold down the seats or you have to go on the side or you have to really really stretch out here on the side. Usually it was nice to have some kind of handles here or a button to press it and then the, the seat will fold down automatically but I guess it's okay it doesn't matter too much but I have to stretch out really really much in order to do that and that that's not a bad thing you know why because that means you have such a long trunk here okay let's do it all right just like that that means you have a super long trunk and this is a good thing i mean you have a lot of space here look at this folding the seats down you don't have a super hundred uh, percent flat floor but it's still almost a flat floor and huge space here incredible space i mean you can even sleep here in my opinion really long if you see from here until there it's huge huge space also you can make a better idea from this angle really spacious really really spacious guys i like it in terms of uh, practicality this arteon is doing such a good job the entrance in the car here it's pretty big huge entrance no problem and also you can see from this angle how much space you have so it's, it's quite spacious also look at this behind the, the front seats you still have a lot of space to put on other things for example um, groceries or um, even a package a bigger package it's incredible how much space you have here uh, left so yeah that's the space guys now I will fold everything back, the seats, and then we will go uh, forward to show you the rest of the interior. Yes, let's go in the back here. Also, by the way, the sound of the door, it's quite good. So good quality on the doors. Off, open the door right here. You can see that it comes with these frameless windows. Uh, that means it's fancy, it's nice. It's premium, I like it, and also with tinted windows look really, really good. Uh, on the door here, we have soft material almost everywhere. On the upper part, you have soft material and nice. Then you have down here, again, leather with white stitches. Then you have soft material here on your armrest. So overall, the quality, it's incredible nice. I like also this design of the handle. You can see it's kind of unique and beautiful. Um, I like it, it's one of my favorite design in terms of handles, the way it's continuing there, the speaker integrated there, this glossy plastic with ambient light inside it, it has some little point of ambient light, I will try to show you a little bit later, really beautiful handle here, chrome design, uh, also you have the button for, for the windows, then plenty of storage space, also inside the storage space you have this uh, nice uh, carpet feeling, uh, like, like Volkswagen Group used to add it there then you have the speaker here and then you have a light reflector so the entrance in the car it's huge so no complaining in terms of entrance you have also some kind of a plate here at the entrance aluminum plate and huge space here in the back i already can see that you have a lot of space here in the back i don't even need to stay there uh, to tell you that also it comes with this napa leather incredible comfortable those seats also even in this area when usually you have plastic in this area Volkswagen add on this Arteon shooting brake leather so here you have leather soft material then it begin with this uh, stitches here side support super comfy I can feel it already on my hand and even down here uh, I don't know how they do that but you feel like that sofa memory pillow memory bed if you remember if you know it it's, it's just crazy crazy the quality iso fixed you can install two child seats also on the other side here i like the fact that they 
they do it kind of a flat in the middle so in order to stay free person here so i think we'll be also comfortable in the middle we will try in the moment uh, here you have also this armrest two cup holders right here leather good quality i like that uh, the transmission tunnel it's kind of big there i wish it was a little bit smaller but yeah you still have huge space this with the transmission tunnel smaller then was perfect space here anyway it's incredible good now here you have leather behind the front seat good quality as well and let's go inside let's go inside guys close the door and down here you have those vents and also you have climatic system you can also set it from here the climatic system heated seats for you and uh, uh, the person in the back and then down here you can open this up let me show you you have a 12 volt port a USB-C you can see it and then you have also that 150 volt outlet so you can charge the laptop very useful i like the fact that you have all free right there it's just just perfect i mean great job volkswagen it's all you need here in the back trust me you don't need more than that up here also led lights on the roof i like very much the white roof i like that everything almost everything it's white and in uh, outside and also the roof when the roof it's white that means you have a lot of brightness inside the car a lot of light i like that handle hooks um hooks here as well i like that and the visibility on the windows is just fabulous i mean look at this window from this angle look how beautiful it looks what this is my favorite design uh, of the windows in the back here in terms of this area this area this uh, Volkswagen Arteon is my favorite I mean this window here is the most beautiful first place from all the cars that I ever ever reviewed beautiful amazing and also in terms of visibility I have to tell you it's gorgeous gorgeous visibility also if I look in the back it's just incredible I almost can see in the back of the car and even here great visibility the comfort also I have to tell you no I don't want to advertise or something but those seats in the back and this position in the back here it's one of the most comfortable seats in the back in this class and not only in this class I mean in general I mean it's, it's really good I like those I don't know how they do it it's like a memory a bad memory pillow and also this headrest it's nice I love this space here really spacious let me go in straight position check this out five six fingers almost seven fingers plenty of space even though the car you see from outside it's kind of aerodynamic and they managed to still have a lot of space I have 173 centimeters by the way to make an idea uh, and then space on my legs I don't even need to tell you look at this I have almost half of my hand it's incredible spacious it's crazy spacious look at it look at this it's it's wow you can stretch i can stretch up my my legs completely i don't know if you can see it from this position but my legs are stretch completely it's crazy crazy spacious love that going in the middle you have this transmission tunnel but still look at this plenty of space on my knees um it's a good position here in the middle the fact that they didn't do this uh, side support bigger it's just super comfy and if I look on my head here I have less space four fingers uh, stretch my hand completely stretch my hand completely like an SUV so that means it's a little bit not so comfy as on the side it's a little bit stronger on my back but I can sit here without any problem for long trips you can have here free person without any any problem for long trips the fact that you have side support here on the side incredible the space the comfort it's gorgeous here in the back great job Volkswagen Arteon it's super comfortable uh, if you look at the price if you look at what they offer until now huge space in the trunk perfect quality and um, very good comfort here in the back deserve the price until now I love it also beautiful design outside LED lights all that stuff it's crazy we will go in the front we will talk about the dashboard beautiful design on the dashboard by the way look at the lines the way they integrate those vents there in my opinion they look so beautiful so beautiful they make that uh, vents there and the way they integrated the, the multimedia system in the dash 
The steering wheel is my favorite one. We will talk about that when I go there. Uh, is the new uh, cockpit as well. And yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice design there in the front uh, of the dash. Look futuristic, look nice. And yeah, also the visibility we will see in the moment, but yeah, the visibility, it is really good. Really good in my opinion. Let's go in the front. Here the same frameless windows from one piece is here. Good visibility outside. Also, you have the blind spot technology right there uh, in the mirror on the side. So it looks quite nice. Here on the door, the same story. Everywhere, almost everywhere, you have soft material. You can see the stitches right here. Uh, I think this is leather on the upper side. Quite nice the way they integrate it. Then you have the same, same black glossy plastic with some kind of LED insertion right there. Really beautiful. And then if you look a little bit upper, you have this kind of gray trim, interesting trim. And then continuing with these beautiful uh, handles, lock and unlock button, speaker right there. Here you have again this leather with, with white stitches. Look beautiful handle. Another speaker here and another speaker. You have three speakers on the front door. Really beautiful. And then if you go forward, even here you have soft material in this area. You have also the controllers for the windows and the mirror. By the way, you can control it electrically, both of them. And also you have folding mirrors, heated mirrors. Now here you have plenty of storage space in the door bands. And not only that, but you have this great, great soft stuff material there. The button for the trunk and then the speaker, you already see it. So overall, very good quality on the doors. Going inside here, huge entrance. No problem in terms of entrance. You have also kind of an aluminum plate at the entrance. Aluminum pedals, by the way, sporty aluminum pedals. They are great. And then you have electric adjustable seats right here. Also, you can get it optional with massage on your seat. This is Ergo. I think it's the Ergo seats and you have to pay around 1,500. I don't remember really well, but I think uh, somewhere there. You have two position of saving. Uh, the seats while you when you set it up the seats are incredible good one of the best one of the most comfortable seats in my opinion that I sit I mean Volkswagen makes some amazing seats you have this Napa leather uh, and you can see also the trim look nice and they are so you have to touch it it's like that memory pillow and even down here really good comfort really one of the best I have to say this is in top three seats that I ever ever sit on. I like them so so much. Now here you have some storage space and you have the controller for the light. It's the classic way, a little bit different but yeah anyway the classic way here you can control the head-up display, turn it off and on, up down, left right, fog lamps and yeah the other things you already know it. Uh, pretty simple and classic. Uh, on this area here uh, if you look, you have this chrome design, LED light inserted there in the dash, a little bit of glossy plastic. I like those vents very, very much. And then this trim design also up here. Interesting, really interesting. Soft material everywhere on the dash. Let's talk from inside, guys. Inside here, first impression is that other than you have amazing comfort on those seats. So I have incredible comfort on those seats. They are super, super good on my back. I think you can drive even many kilometers without any problem. The first impression, it's, it's super spacious. I mean, you have so much space here, no matter how big you are, you will always have space here. And the way they design these doors here that allow you to have a lot of space, it's very nice integrated, the dash with the doors. Um, I like it very much. In terms of visibility, as I said before, great visibility around the car uh, look at this even the windshield are big the windows in the back also pretty big you don't even have a blind spot uh, right there in the corners one more time the seats in the back so yeah overall great comfort a lot of good quality now here armrest adjustable also good quality here you have some storage space two usb-c ports very useful these days. Then you go forward. This look a little bit a classic. This I wish they change it here, you know. This is the part that I wish was different on this Arteon. I wish it was at least as the new Volkswagen Golf uh, 8, for example, with that a little bit of uh, mat here. And then you have this shift by wire transmission. Uh, but yeah, it's also nice. Here you have two cup holders, 12 volt port. 
electronic handbrake, auto hold, very useful those functions. Then you go forward, you have this uh, transmission, DSG 7-speed transmission, that it's very good, but I wish they used this knob, uh, shift by wire knob, was much nicer. Start engine button also, classic different driving modes if you press on the driving modes i want to show you that you have like four driving modes plus individual so you can choose the way you want to drive it because the car come with uh, adaptive damping control uh, you will really feel every time you can see the dcc you can feel every time you change those driving modes you can feel that the car will change accordingly the acceleration the gear shifter the steering wheel and the suspension eco mode comfort mode normal mode and sport mode when the car will give you the best performance uh, i will explain you all those stuff in the test drive so check out the other video with the test drive there you find all the information about those things start stop engine uh, cameras around 360 degrees camera and parking assist right there pretty classic this array here and then you have also in the front here a wireless charging place for your phone so you can charge your phone wireless um, down there first of all i have to tell you that yeah, it's quite good quality here. I'm impressed. The glow box is really big. That's something that I want to tell you. Really big and also it's refrigerated. So keep in mind, you can keep your drinks cold uh, right there. Now, press the brake. Start the engine. You can see the blind spot is right there. The windows are adjusted. Also, you can see the head-up display is directly on the, on the piece of glass. Also, I think it, you have to pay 590 francs or something like that for it to have it. I'm not sure. It's very good. I mean, in terms of uh, resolution, in terms of brightness, it's quite good. But it's not that nice to have this glass here. I wish it was directly on the windscreen. And I'm not sure if, yeah, if you need it because you have this uh, new digital cockpit that it's amazing. And you have a great visibility from the driver point of view directly on this uh, screen already so I'm not sure if it's really need to update to that one and also you have a great multimedia and great uh, cockpit in terms of cockpit this digital cockpit you can customize in many ways so it's more than perfect yeah all right you can adjust the uh, steering wheel the way you want it up down left right just like that super simple from down here manual adjustment you have the new climatic system from Volkswagen. I like it very much. I know many people complain why you have to adjust the vents like that. Look at this, how you adjust the vents. It's a touch screen and you can choose how much to use from this vent, how much power to vents. Then you change it from here. Also, it's kind of a touch screen. Look at this. You just do it like that to choose uh, the temperature and then you have the AC, everything is touchscreen here. You have, by the way, ventilated seats in this car. It's awesome to have those ventilated seats. Also, you can see, you can control it for the multimedia system or you can control it from here. And they work really well because they have these little holes and the air will go in the summer, in the hot days. It's super, super useful also for you and the passengers, the same story. I like it very much and I like the way they integrate the, the climatic system. It's quite, quite nice. I'm not complaining about that because you can get used with it super easy. If you press this menu here, you can see it has a menu button. If you press this menu, you will see it will get in the menu. You will have the climatic system right here on the screen and you can use it also from the screen. You can choose all that functions and things from here from the screen. Air care, menu, auto, the way you want it, you have it right here. Uh, or you can adjust it simply from down here. So super, super easy. Uh, great. This is the, uh, the climatic system. I want to talk a little bit about the dash. You have a speaker there and then the dash is kind of small. Usually in most of the car, you will have a big da dashboard until here, I think. But this one, Arteon, Volkswagen choice on the Arteon, to make it smaller, look at this. It's super smaller, super nice. Um, and also the design and the lines here, the way they integrate this area, I like it so much. This area, it's super beautiful. Also, those vents are nice, integrated there. Have the blinker button right here. Splendid, splendid. I like the way they do it. Now, let me go a little bit to the multimedia system here. Also, you have this 
uh, 9.3 inch screen guys also very nice glossy and also very responsive you can go in every single menu without any problem um, you have the home button right here and then on the home button you have two uh, pages first the page it's with navigation telephone radio go to the second page you can customize and add different widgets here like vehicle journey and information compass and uh, navigation consumption you can see it here super simple you can change those things anyway yeah let me go forward favorite you can add some favorite things here and those are the front page if you go to menu up here you will see that you have all the menu of the car and you have the radio telephone navigation uh, driver assist media everything i don't want to go too much into detail because i already make a full review about this multimedia system i will show you really fast this is the radio when you can change the station telephone you can connect your telephone bluetooth stuff like that navigation is the latest one by the way from volkswagen and it's a very good navigation in my opinion it works really fast once you set the destination it works uh, perfectly for example and then press start please drive to the road shown also you can see of course on the on the cockpit i will talk about that later but it works really good and you can also see what it's on the road shops and stuff like that where you can stop you can also close it and cancel this route super simple and overall it's quite responsive it's it's quite responsive you can see it right here and it works really fast now going to the menu again you have the driver assist those are important things here iq drive for example and then you have all the settings all the safety features are here adaptive cruise control front assist emergency brake lane assist all that dynamic road display trailer recognize and all that stuff you can activate and deactivate it from this area and then you have the media where you can connect and heard music from your uh, gadgets app connectivity you can connect your android and apple uh, phone here without any problem but you will need a cable so you will have all that features of a phone on this multimedia system and it's a great screen here is the consumption last kilometers you can see 18 depend but the car is super super new so yeah you can expect more uh, sound here also you can adjust every single thing in terms of sound from this menu and then you have the air conditioning you have the settings that are more important to change the language time screen units kilometer miles all that stuff you can connect it change it from here and this is the multimedia this is the multimedia system i don't want to go too much into detail it's not the newest this one that volkswagen have it but it's still still very good and it's doing the job uh, perfectly now let's go here to the cockpit guys the cockpit is the latest one and it's beautiful great colors great resolution you can control it from here from the steering wheel also the steering wheel it's the brand new steering wheel from the volkswagen you can see also the new logo and you can see also these new commands right here like a touch screen commands uh, so they are not physical button anymore here they are kind of a touch screen buttons this is fancy to be honest and from here you can control different functions on the cockpit the view can change the views from here just like that and then you can change from here also different functions from up here and down yeah let me show you let me go closer there so you can see in how many ways you can customize this screen in many ways you can see the speed and the rpm you can see the temperature you can see the vehicle status and then um let me go left the telephone you have the audio you have the navigation you have the assistance systems driving data on the driving data you have more information here that you can see on the screen the range stuff like that and yeah overall pretty nice and if you go to the navigation for example and you don't want to have it so small you can make it bigger you can make it all over the screen there or you can change it like that to see some information on the side um, yeah I like this view very much okay great let's talk about the steering wheel I leave it to, to the end because it's one of my favorite uh, it feels really like you are driving an Audi RS for example it's super premium super great quality look at these little holes right here uh, you have this side 
uh, grip right here, a little bit special, a little bit outside. It's the same steering wheel that Volkswagen used it on the Volkswagen Golf R, for example. The only missing is the R or GTI or GTE here down. But other than that, gorgeous steering wheel, one of the best. Great grip, nice, nice, nice design. Beautiful logo, the new logo right here. You see already those controllers for the cockpit. And then here you have also some controls for the cruise control. It's very similar with what was the physical button before. So you can set the speed from here and uh, the cruise control activate and deactivate it from here. Also you have those pedals to change the gear manually if you want to have some fun in manual mode. And overall, that's almost all. Uh, if we go up here, you have a handle, you have also the mirror with an LED light up here. Uh, the mirror in the middle is super beautiful with tiny edges, look gorgeous, gorgeous the way it looks. And up here on the roof, you have LED lights, a space for your glasses, and then SOS button and all that uh, information and settings there. I like very much that they still uh, left with this glasses support. I like them so much up there. Anyway, guys, I guess that was the car. I think I show you almost all guys if you have question if I didn't show you everything or something missing just uh, write me comment down below ask me anything you want I will answer to to your question guys also if you find it useful if you like it if you get some useful information from this video just subscribe like and share I will really appreciate that also if you want to see the test drive subscribe to the channel to see the video with the test drive when it will come out on my channel if you like the music, the link in the description. Uh, if you want to buy the car and if you want to see the car, if you're in Switzerland, around Switzerland, I will leave the link in the description to Gauchi uh, Garage so you can check them out. Um, they have amazing price. You see the discount on this car, a uh, brand new car, around 10,000 and more discount. It's really good. Uh, also, um, guys, thank you very much for watching my video. As a conclusion, Arteon, it's one of the most beautiful design in this class amazing quality inside those seats are crazy one of the best seats uh, out there that you can get it also a lot of comfort in the back some features on this car are just gorgeous thank you for watching guys also don't forget to check out our website sdadancar.com if you want to find out more technical details articles about the car and all kind of information like that stay safe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys